This is a right triangle trigonometry problem where I'm being asked to solve the triangle. I have to find the measures of all of the missing angles and the lengths of all the missing sides. In this problem, I'm missing angle A and angle B. I've been given that angle C is 90 degrees. Side A, the side across from angle A is six, that's given. Side B, across from angle B, is missing. I'll have to find that to solve the triangle. And side C, the hypotenuse, across from angle C, is given as 13. To find the missing angles, I'm going to have to use the trig ratios in a right triangle, which you can see here. The sine of any acute angle in a right triangle is equal to the quotient of the length of the opposite side and the length of the hypotenuse. The cosine of either of the acute angles is equal to its adjacent side's length divided by the hypotenuse length. And the tangent of either of the uh, acute angles in a right triangle is the length of its opposite side over the length of its adjacent side. Let's use these triangles, or these ratios, to solve this triangle. To solve this triangle, we'll identify the measures of all of the angles and the lengths of all of the sides. In this problem, we were given that angle C is 90 degrees. That's the right angle. Side A. The side across from angle A is exactly 6. Side C is 13. We'll begin by finding the length of side B. The length of side B does not require trigonometry. This is a right triangle, and we know two of the sides exactly, so we can use the Pythagorean theorem to find that third side. In this case, one of the legs is exactly 6, and 6 squared is 36. The other leg, B, is unknown. And the hypotenuse is 13, which, when squared, is 169. To solve for b, we'll first subtract 36 from both sides of the equation to find that b squared is equal to 133, which means b is the square root of 133. That's the exact length of side b. The square root of 133 is an irrational number. If you'd like to round that off to the nearest tenth, you could state that as 11.5, but realize that's, that's approximate. The actual length of side B is irrational in this situation, the square root of 133. To find the measure of angle A and angle B, we will use trigonometry. If we take a look at the triangle we were given, with respect to angle A, the opposite side was given. The side opposite of angle A is exactly 6. And the hypotenuse, the side across from the right angle, was also given. To find the measure of angle A, we'll use the trig function that relates those two given sides, opposite and the hypotenuse. The sine ratio relates opposite and the hypotenuse. And in fact, the sine of angle A, the sine of any angle, is its opposite side over its hypotenuse. And in this case, Opposite from angle A is a side that is 6, and a hypotenuse is 13. So I don't quite know what angle A is yet, but I do know that the sine of angle A is 6 over 13. If I know that the sine of angle A is 6 over 13, that means angle A is the inverse sine of 6 over 13. The inverse sine of 6 over 13 to the nearest tenth is 27.5, and that's the measure of angle A, at least to the nearest tenth. We could state the measure of angle B by subtracting from 180. 180 minus 90 minus 27.5 will give us an approximate value for angle B, but just for some more practice with trigonometry, let's find angle B's measure using trigonometry. With respect to angle B, we know that the hypotenuse is 13, but whenever you're looking at angle B, side A is the adjacent to angle B. Side A is adjacent to angle B. So I were, with respect to angle B, you're given the adjacent side and the hypotenuse. The trig function that relates adjacent and hypotenuse is cosine. So the cosine of angle B is its adjacent side length, 6 in this case, over the hypotenuse's length, which is 13 in this case. The cosine of angle B is 6 over 13. That means that angle B 
is the inverse cosine of 6 over 13, which to the nearest tenth is approximately 62.5. Realize that this is the same value you would get if you did 180 minus 90 minus 27.5. So at this point, I have solved the triangle, at least to the nearest tenth. Angle A is 27.5, angle B is 62.5, angle C given was 90. Side A and side C were given as 6 and 13. Side B is exactly the square root of 133, which is approximately 11.5. Notice that in a solved triangle, solved right triangle or a solved any triangle, across from the largest angle is the largest side, across from the smallest angle is the smallest side, and the angle measured that's in the middle is across from the side length that's in the middle.